In this tutorial, you will learn how to build this multilingual business website using Unco theme in WPML. Our multilingual business website has a nice homepage that has different sections where you can put information about the products or services that you provide. Based on the number of languages you will be translating your website into, your clients will be able to use the language switcher in the menu here to display the site in their preferred language. In this tutorial, I will show you how to translate your website into Spanish, but of course, you're free to translate it to any other language or languages you want. Here you can see the Spanish version of the portfolio page where you can showcase your work. We also have a frequently asked questions page that has an accordion design. Of course, you can customize it by adding more sections and questions. Our contact page here has direct contact information along with the office location. Of course, the contact page wouldn't be complete without a contact form that allows your clients to get in touch with you about their projects. It's worth mentioning that Uncode is a multi-purpose theme that has many pre-built demos. This means that no matter what business you're running, you'll find a demo that has the feels and the looks that represents your brand and fits your business needs. Furthermore, Unco Team supports RTL languages such as Arabic and Hebrew. You will find links to get the Unco theme and WPML plugins that we will use to build and translate our business website in the description of this video. Without any further ado, let's jump to the WordPress admin area to see how to build the site. First, you need to install and activate the Unco theme on your website. Once you've done that, go to Uncode, install plugins, and install and activate the required plugins. Now it's time to import the demo pages of our business website. If you already have a live website, I don't recommend importing the demo content directly to it as this adds new content to your website. Instead, you can use a staging site or a local installation to follow up with this tutorial, then you can merge it to your live site. To import the business site demo pages, go to the import demo tab. There, you can see different importing options. The first option here imports all the demo layouts that Unco theme offers. I don't really recommend going with this option as it imports a massive amount of pages, posts and portfolio pages that you won't need. Instead, click the import layout button. This allows you to choose the pages, posts and portfolio pages that you need. Click the control button on Windows or the command button on Mac to select multiple pages. Here you can select the pages and the portfolio layouts of your multilingual business website. Once done, click the import button then confirm. The importing time varies based on the amount of content you are importing and your server specs. And our import is completed. The last thing you want to do to have your default language site ready is to add a menu to it. You can do that by navigating to Appearance, Menus, create a new menu there by typing in a menu name, then click the Create Menu button. In the Menu settings, choose the menu to be your primary menu. Now add the pages that you imported to the menu. Reorder the menu to your liking, then click the Save Menu button. Let's take a look at the website on the front end. As you can see, the English version of our website is completed. Now it's time to translate our website. Let's go back to the WordPress admin. To translate your website to any number of languages you want, you need to have the WPML core plugins installed and activated. You also need to configure WPML. For that, we have a nice documentation that will guide you through the configuration process. You can find the link to that in the description. In this tutorial, we're using WPML's Advanced Translation Editor, which allows you to translate the content on your site automatically. To activate it, navigate to WPML, Settings. Under the How to Translate Posts and Pages section, choose to use the Advanced Translation Editor. Now that our business website is ready for translation, let's go ahead and translate our pages. As an example, let's translate the home page. But before we do that, we would want to translate the header content block included in our homepage. Simply navigate to Content Block, All Content Blocks, then click the plus icon to translate the homepage header content block. This takes you to the Advanced Translation Editor screen. Click the Translate Automatically button to add the machine translation. 
review that translation and make sure that it's accurate. Now, click the finish button, then complete to publish the translation. You can follow the exact same steps to translate any of Uncode's theme content blocks. Let's jump back to our homepage and translate it. Click the plus icon to go to the advanced translation editor. Again, click the translate automatically button to add the machine translation. Review the translation, then click the complete then finish button to publish the translator page. You can follow exactly the same steps to translate your posts and portfolio items. Our contact page includes a contact form built using the Contact Form 7 plugin. Check out our video tutorial that explains the process of creating multilingual contact pages using Contact Form 7 and WPML. Let's take a look on our site on the front end. As you can see, our site pages are translated. You can notice that the footer copyright text is not translated yet. Let's go ahead to the WordPress admin area and sort this out. You can set the default language footer copyright text by navigating to Uncode, Theme Options, and under the General section, click Footer. Expand the copyright area and customize the text to your liking. Once done, do not forget to save. To translate the copyright text along with any other string that comes from the Theme Options, navigate to WPML, String Translation, and search for the footer text. Here we have it. Click the translations link and add the translated content. Then tick the translation is complete checkbox and save the translation. Our site doesn't include any widgets, but if you choose to add widgets to your sidebar or footer area, you can translate these from the string translation screen as well. All the widget texts can be found under the widgets text domain. The last element that you want to translate on your business website is the menu. Before you do that, make sure that all the pages that you included in the menu is translated. Now navigate to WPML, WP Menu Sync, and click the Sync button. Choose all the menu items that you want to sync to the secondary language and hit the Apply Changes button. Let's take a final look at our website on the front end. Our menu is translated along with the footer text. With that, you learned how to create a multilingual business website using Uncode theme and WPML. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and if you don't want to miss more tutorials like this one, click the notifications bell and YouTube will let you know when we have new videos uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.